What's up guys, thanks so much for stopping by. There's a couple updates I wanted to share with you guys. One, first and foremost, it's just impressive to me. Over 300 tweaks, honestly close to 400 tweaks, have been updated and are now working on the iOS 13 jailbreak. So according to this compatibility list. And again, this list is located down below in this video's description, right next to all of the free tweaks we're talking about later in this video. You can also find the sources there as well. Anyway, before we start, definitely like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into things. So, first and foremost, we have Battery Percent X right here on the iPhone 10. That's an awesome tweak that was updated. Cylinder now works on iOS 13. Gotta love the classics. I really love Cool CC, and Power Module has made its return back on iOS 13, allowing you to quickly respring your device just like that from the control center. We have Sylph on the lock screen right here to give this awesome sleek music widget. And right below that, a new one that I've yet to cover on this channel is called Lock Widgets. Basically take your widgets from your widgets pane right there and put them right on your lock screen. Your notifications appear right below. So continuing along the lines of new tweaks, we have new cam, which brings the iPhone 11 camera UI to every other device. So you can quickly zoom out, you can press and hold to take a quick video, just like on the iPhone 11. We also have new Siri, which gives Siri an interesting little interface, something like that. You have a couple options to choose from there. As you guys can see, I'm rocking the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro wallpapers, and this awesome tweak adds said wallpapers to the wallpaper section within the settings app. So cool one right there to easily add the new wallpapers to your guys' devices. Now, if you guys noticed on that last shot right there, I actually have all of the iPhone 11's UI on my iPhone 8, and that's done with Little 11, entirely free. And probably my favorite new tweak in this entire video is called Adaptive Dark Mode. Now this is not like Noctis or any other dark mode tweak. This uses the native iOS 13 dark mode, but it allows you to enable it for different conditions. You can set a brightness threshold, you can enable it, uh, when low power mode or do not disturb is toggled on or just in certain apps. So if I'm on the home screen right here, if I go ahead and pull the control center down, turn my brightness up, whoa, that is real bright. I don't know if I'll be able to demo this too well, but as you guys can see, light mode is now enabled. If I go ahead and turn my brightness down, now I'm back to dark mode. Another awesome thing is if I'm in light mode, if I go into the settings app, it automatically transitions to dark mode when I leave back to light mode. Anyway guys, hard to demo that one on video, but that is adaptive dark mode. Well, if you made it to the end of this video, I have a bonus tweak for you called Home Plus Beta. Check this out. This is the very first free tweak that I've seen that allows you to adjust your home screen icon layout. You can pretty much do everything that like Boxy or Iconator did, uh, adjust where your icons are, adjust how many rows, how many columns you want to have, on the fly, just like that. You can even adjust like icon scale um, and hide your icon labels and then just quickly apply it and uh, take a look at your changes right on your home screen. Anyway, this one's called Home Plus Beta. I'm not sure if it's going to eventually be a paid tweak, but right now you can get it entirely for free. Anyhow, like I said at the start, this was a super quick video. I mainly wanted to let everyone know that there's close to 400 tweaks that are now supported on iOS 13, and the jailbreak is not even out of beta stages yet, guys. Windows support is coming soon. More device support is coming soon. Again, if you missed a tweak in today's video, or if you want to check out that compatibility list for yourselves, it's linked down below in our Best Tech Info article. Anyhow guys, thank you so much for stopping by, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.